it's Heather. Welcome back into the paper castle. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> um, I have not fallen off the face of the earth. Uh, I know it's been, wow, 10 months since my last video. I did not plan for uh, it to be that long, but um, life and my really old computers kind of got in the way of all that. So I don't think I'm even going to attempt to put this on the computer and try and edit it at all. Not that my editing was anywhere close to fancy. It was quite the opposite. Um, but it just takes forever to get my one computer that I used to do it on. It takes forever to get it booted up. There's something wrong with it. Um, I haven't taken it in to get it fixed. And my other one doesn't have the same program. Oh, and now I have a visitor. <laughs> Hi, baby. Are you helping? Are you helping? Um, so this will probably be very bare bones. Just me babbling a little bit and then uploading it straight to YouTube. So what you see is what you get on this one. Um, hopefully I will be coming out with some more, but I'm not going to make any like major promises right now. I did get a GoPro for Christmas this past year. I still have to get a micro SD card for it. Yes, I know it's May. Um, I'm hoping maybe I can do some rummage sale, like live rummage sale stuff. But like I said, no promises. We'll see. I have to try and figure it all out first. Um, but <clears throat> this is the culmination of a couple of rummage sales, a thrift store, that I went to today and uh, a marketplace, really good marketplace find. So I'll go over those with you in a minute, plus a couple of sold items right over here. Um, but first, let me tell you guys what I'm up to. Uh, if you want to know exactly where the haul starts, I'll put it in the description down below because I know a lot of people want to skip over this. But some people say they want to hear about, you know, what's going on here in uh, central New Jersey. So I will try and give you the cliff note version as quick as I can. The last video that I had up, it was scheduled to uh, go up while we were in Florida visiting my husband's family, which who we hadn't seen in, I think, three years because of COVID and all that. So we had a good time doing that. Then we came back. My daughter turned 17, unfortunately failed her driving test because of stupid parallel parking. She's still not driving yet, so this entire year I have been her chauffeur because unfortunately she's been she's needed to be driven around more this year than probably most other years between um, school. She doesn't have to be there right on time every single day. She has a late in a couple times, two, three times a week, uh, plus her job, which I've had to get her there at her, she wants to be a pastry chef, so she has a job at a bakery. 6 a.m. on the weekends, which is so fun. But I am the first one at most every rummage sale because of that. So I guess I should be grateful for that. Um, and then a lot of other things she's had to be driven to. So that's taken up a lot of time. Um, let's see. It's her senior year. What else? Oh, we had... Christmas, Christmas is good, and then the day after my husband got COVID, and two days after that, I got COVID, so uh, it wasn't a very happy new year. We weren't able to do anything. We couldn't go out and get stuff for our fondue that we usually do. We just kind of sat around and looked at each other, <laughs> which is fun, while my daughter stayed far, far away from us, uh, but it, you know, could have been worse, and uh, after we recovered from that, let me see, I did a lot of death pile listing. My death pile is huge. It's still huge, but not as bad. I really got a lot done with that. And um, my daughter sent us to see a comedian, um, Jeff Dunham. He's a ventriloquist, if any of you guys know him. That was her Christmas present to us. So we got out of the house in the middle of January and we did that. And my son moved out. He's 27. Moved out into his girlfriend's basement of her parents' house. So he's about 45 minutes north of us right now. Um, found a, a really good job um, working as a Verizon salesman, 
He just started a few months ago, so knock on wood, that goes well for him. And let's see, what else? Oh, my daughter had a competition, a baking competition that took up a lot of time, and I was driving her back and forth to practices and then to South Jersey for the actual competition, which was a big deal. Plus college visits to CIA, Culinary Institute of America, Johnson & Wales in Rhode Island, and um, another one called ICE down in um, uh, Lower Manhattan near the World Trade Center. So that was a busy fall, and now she's decided to take a gap year, which she is very entitled to since high school was just a disaster with COVID and all that other stuff. It was, ugh. We're all very happy it's ending in a few short weeks. Um, let's see, then we, my husband and I had our 20th anniversary last month. Right after that, we went to Florida again to visit his family. Um, we did some different things this time. We went zip lining, which was awesome. And I would do every day for the rest of my life. Um, if I got the opportunity, we also went trail riding, you know, on horses. Um, and I found this place that had great reviews. It didn't have many pictures, um, of the actual, you know, farm but it had pictures of the trail and and all these people gave great reviews and I'm like oh okay let's go here so I booked it oh my god you guys I have to show you pictures later when I get this computer thing figured out I thought we were gonna die I thought we were gonna be in a Dateline episode <laughs> it was that bad the house was that bad I'm like oh my god <laughs> um but it turned out to be a lot of fun. The lady was really nice. It's just, um, she doesn't have any time to take care of her house. Her house looks like it's on the verge of being condemned and it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, other than that, it was great. Then we came home, had my husband's 50th birthday. So we had a lot of stuff going on around that. That was just a couple weeks ago. Then Mother's Day, um, which my kids got me tickets to see Janet Jackson tomorrow night. So I'm going with my best friend from high school. I'm very excited because she is my favorite and I haven't seen her in 20 years in concert. So I'll be dancing my behind off all night tomorrow. And um, tonight is my daughter's graduation from her vocational um, school with her culinary and baking program. Next month she has her actual official high school graduation. Don't know why they're doing a graduation tonight because she still has three more weeks of polytech, but who knows. So in seven minutes, that is my life in a nutshell in the past year. And I know you guys want to hear me shut up now. So I'm going to show you guys all this stuff on the table. All right. First up, um, this is from a rummage sale that Wendy and I go to a couple times a year. Wendy, if you guys don't know, is my uh, rummage, rummage sale buddy. She's from PA, I'm from Jersey. We kind of tag team and do a lot of sales together. Um, so this one is kind of halfway for both of us, which is great. It's pricey. Sometimes are better than others. Sometimes I just kill it there, even, even though I have to pay up. This time, still had to pay up, but not so lucky. Um, I believe I spent $30 and I even had them put some stuff back because when they told me the prices of things, I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, first up is a set of these needlepoint coasters. I always buy these when I find them. They usually sell pretty well. I think I paid about two and I have them up for 20 plus shipping with a bunch of watchers. Then this was in a bag with some other needlework stuff. This was the only salvageable item. I believe I paid a dollar. This is a DMC sampler based on one by Margaret Williamson in 1787. I think I have this up for 20 or best offer right now. It should probably bring around, I'm going to say 12 to 15. This was the only thing that I found in their health and beauty section, if you can call it that. I think there were a total of five things there. This is from Bath and Body Works. Lovely Dreamer. Uh, Shea and Vitamin E shower gel, um, brand new and sealed, paid a dollar. It's worth about 25 plus shipping. Then, um, whoops, let me show you this first. This is a little carved, now I can't remember the name of the stone, but it's, it's an alabaster type stone. It's this little diorama with this nativity. It's adorable in an egg-shaped um, 
figurine. And this is the only one that I could find online that actually has a place for a candle at the back so that you can illuminate it. I tried to take pictures when I listed it of it, you know, being illuminated. You can kind of see it, but I'm sure it's better if it's darker outside. Um, you know, it was kind of, even though I had the lights out in the house, it was still daylight. So didn't don't think the pictures came out quite the way I wanted them to. But this is from Peru. And should sell, I think I paid one or two bucks for it, should sell for around 15 to 20 plus shipping. And this was in their Christmas section, which sometimes I've done really well in. But this um, this and the coasters were pretty much the only thing that I found. Oh, and the little nativity. This is uh, another advent calendar. You guys know how I love those so much. And you kind of put this tree together. And with the, you know, it's notched so you can put it together and it's three-dimensional. It sits in this base, which is musical, and then you can hang all these little ornaments on it. There's even ornaments under this musical base, which I'm not going to take out for you now. But it's German. It cost me a couple bucks, and I believe I should be able to get about 40 to 50. And last but not least are these three little... Taxidermy butterfly plaques in brass frames. I paid, I think, three for this set. And I look for taxidermy butterflies anywhere that I can because they just sell well, especially the ones that have, um, they're mounted on glass and it's glass on both sides. I have one in my hallway, uh, that I got at a sale for like three bucks and I love it and I will never part with it. But I've sold a few of those type since then. And I've never seen these older ones with the brass frame. The glass is convex, as you can see. And these already sold for 40 plus shipping and these will be leaving today. And this little, they're real simple wooden backs. So anytime you find taxidermy butterflies, um, pick them up. I found one that was a big atlas or two big atlas moths in a large glass dome. I think that was back in the fall. I think I paid around three for that and sold it for over a hundred, maybe 110 around there somewhere. Um, and if you can find the blue morpho butterflies, the really deep blue ones, those are the ones that everybody is looking for. Oh, now that I've given you your butterfly lecture of the day, I will move on to, um, let me see. Okay. Oh, there's one more thing from that sale. Sorry, guys. This needlepoint pillow, I paid the most for this out of everything that I just showed you. It's an apple blossom, um, probably from the 70s or 80s, homemade, no tags. Uh, paid five, and I'm trying to get maybe 30 plus shipping out of that. Okay, the next sale I went to was about a half an hour north of me. Um, usually it's better than it was this time, however, because I only bought five things. However, the first two things I bought were major home runs, uh, so it made it worth it, worth every minute of waiting outside. Plus, I'm just happy that COVID is over and I can go to these sales again and hang out with people who are as passionate about this as I am. And we all kind of know each other, even though some of us don't know each other's first names. I've started to ask people their names now because usually you just go and look, oh, yeah, I know you. You're that one that's always in the front over at this sale. You know, so I finally started to ask people their names and vice versa. They're asking me mine. Um... But like I said, this one is usually better than it was this time around as far as quantity. But quality, it was uh, a lot of fun because, well, I'll show you the, the not so, you know, valuable things first. Got this set of soap from uh, Diamante. Yeah, Diamante. Apple and spices made in Italy. There's four little bars in here. I paid a dollar. Um... I think I might have it up for 20 with free shipping, something like that. But if it doesn't sell, I'm not that sad about it because it smells really good and I'll just keep it for myself. Okay. 
they had a whole table of Jim Shore. I didn't feel like sitting there and looking it all up or putting it all in my bag. And, you know, I just wanted the little things. So I just ended up getting this little guy. This is... Baby Jesus' halo is a little crooked. This is Santa praying over Baby Jesus. It had a name on the bottom, and I tried to wipe it off and unfortunately wiped off some of the manufacturer's information. Uh, I don't think that matters too much. Um, paid, I believe, a buck or two for this, and this should go for around 20, 15 to 20 plus shipping. Then this little heart heart Christmas is in your heart yeah keep Christmas in your heart needlepoint accent pillow with the mittens I paid a buck for this you guys know I always love to pick up needlepoint pillows I think I have this up for 20 plus shipping most of my things are on best offer now too I've added that over the past year I didn't have a lot of stuff on best offer but now I've started to do it more and last but not least at this sale was this baby, which I'm very happy with. I do not go to the boutique or the jewelry section in most sales right off the bat. I find that their stuff is overpriced. Not everything that we would consider boutique is actually boutique. Um, the people at the sale think it's boutique, and then you get up there and you're like, ugh. <laughs> uh, so I always try to find the stuff that goes, uh, kind of flies under the radar. This was one of those things. I went right to the little shelf. They had like it had like four little baskets in it, the vertical storage thing, where they kind of threw all their toiletries and health and beauty stuff. I dug through the top uh, basket and found this. This is Crabtree and Evelyn, or Evelyn, however you want to pronounce it, Nantucket Briar Eau de Toilette, two ounces. I just threw it in the bag. Didn't even look it up until I was almost ready to get in line, and then I almost fell over. Um, paid two bucks for it, and they sell pretty consistently for around two thirty to two fifty plus shipping. It is brand new because, as we all know, you can't sell used perfume on eBay because it's a hygiene thing, which I don't even understand. Don't even get me started on that one, especially if it's a spray. I'm like what? Hopefully they'll change that rule soon. If they don't, I'm going to have to start selling all my used stuff on Mercari or something. Which I haven't ventured into Mercari yet, but we'll see. Uh, and the best part of this was that there were not one, but two of these babies in the basket. And I think when I got out of there, I ended up paying uh, $16 for everything I bought. It was crazy. Uh, so that was, I think, my second or third rummage sale of the season. And on the way home from that one, I stopped at a garage sale. And I picked up this Lennox 2016 Annual Ornament. This is called the Spire Ornament. This pierced porcelain or bone china or whatever it is. And the box is a little dented. But for two bucks, it was definitely worth it. These go for around 40 to 50 plus shipping. Okay, now, what else do I have to show you guys? Oh, this was an amazing Facebook Marketplace deal. I thought it was a typo. I was almost certain it was a typo, but it turned out not to be. I went on it in the morning like I usually do every day, just kind of scrolling around, see what I can see. And I saw a picture of this gorgeous snowflake ornament. I mean, it's a big, thick one, you guys. It's not a little thin jobber. This sucker's got some weight to it. And the description said, Waterford Snowflake Ornaments, uh, $25. And then it said, for 10 of them. And then there was another picture of a big box with 10 of these exact, you know, same ornaments in it. I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought, it has to be a typo. It has to be $25 a piece. So I messaged her. I had a bag sale at our uh, big library book sale to go to. And about an hour into that, I heard back from her. She said, yes, they're still available. I said, great. And I, I verified with her. I said, is it 25 for all of them? Because her place is about 40 minutes away from me. 
She's like, oh, yeah. And then about 45 minutes later, she goes, well, someone's someone already messaged me, though. They're coming tonight. I'm like, ugh. Fast forward about seven hours later, she messages me and says, they can't come. Do you still want them? Well, it, duh. Yes, I do. Uh, so I ran down to the mailbox. My husband was trying to put mulch around the mailbox. And I said, uh, you're going to have to find your own stuff for dinner tonight. I'm going to Scotch Plains. And he's like, uh, what? <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm going to pick up some ornaments. He's like, uh, okay. He's kind of used to all that by now. Drove out there. She had them on the porch. I put the money under, under the mat. And I got 10 of these for $25. They sell... Uh, for around eighty to ninety each on eBay, um, probably not until closer to Christmas, but they are already listed. They are up there, uh, so fingers crossed. Might take a little while, but that's okay. I was uh, very happy about that purchase. All right, uh, and then I went to a thrift store this morning. I had to get some stuff for uh, some flowers. And balloons for my daughter's graduation today and we have a little thrift store in town which has been in town for a few years but they recently switched locations it was very very small where it was off the beaten path if you didn't live here you probably didn't know where it was they had to leave that location because um, they were knocking down an old defunct um, shopping center and they moved into our empty Pier 1, which is about five times larger than their other location. They've been open for a couple months. They're very reasonable. In the old place, it was mostly closed because they didn't have room for much else. But now, they have a much bigger store. People are starting to know they're there, and they're acquiring more and more hard goods, which is awesome for me. So today I went over there because every Wednesday, the other awesome thing is every Wednesday is 50% off everything in the store except furniture. So this is what I spent, or this is what I bought today. I spent, I believe, $4 on everything you're going to see. I paid $1.50 for this Jan Lynn stamped cross-stitch Honey Bears quilt. Uh, these sell for around $20 to $25 plus shipping. Then for a dollar, I picked up this Starbucks Puerto Rico mug from their Been There series. Looks like it's never been used. It's in fantastic shape. This should sell for around $25 plus shipping. And then when I got to the other th side of the store, I, got, I was very happy to see this little creamer and sugar set because I knew before I even turned it over, it was a Villaroy and Bach. This is their petite floor pattern. Very desirable. I paid $1.50 for this set, and this should go for around $40 to $50 plus shipping. That was what I bought this morning. And the last few things I have to show you are the other things that are be being shipped out besides those little butterfly plaques. There's this Golden Rabbit enamel plate. Golden Rabbit is actually the name of the company that makes them. Whoops easier to see it here. I picked this up during COVID at the thrift store when I was desperate and in any other situation I probably would not have paid two bucks for it. Uh, so don't run out and buy these. That's not a really great idea. But I listed it anyway and finally sold it today for a best offer of I believe $14.50 with free shipping. It's going first class. So not the greatest thing in the world but you know made a few bucks. These mirrored wall plaques I found at a rummage sale this summer at the end of August. It was hot as Hades standing out there waiting for it to start. I was so happy to get inside the building. Um, it's a very reasonable sale. And found these in the art section, which I need to really look at more because I, I usually skip over it. These are from the Antique Custom Collection of H. Hal Kramer in Chicago. And I know they don't match match as far as the pictures go, but I put them together for $35 plus shipping. I paid three, 
and um, they are going to, where are they going to? Georgia, maybe? I don't know, but they're leaving today. And the last thing that I have to show you guys is another COVID purchase. This is from a thrift store about 20 minutes from me. Uh, it's like a local Elks Lodge. They have an outbuilding. They've turned it into a big thrift store. It's open three days a week. You can usually find something in there that's decent. And this time around, this is the only thing that I bought. I paid eight bucks for the pair, I think. They were high up on a shelf. These are from um, Spode. They are the Fitzhugh pattern. I think there's a red and a blue pattern. Obviously, these are the red tankard mugs, and I had them up for 150 plus shipping. I got a best offer of 90 this morning. I countered at 110, and she bought them, and they're only going to PA, so I saved a few bucks on the shipping. So that's it, guys. Um, I do have a lot more to show you. I've been to a bunch of rummage sales so far this season. Um, right now, it's kind of calming down. April and May are usually really busy. And then it kind of slows down a little. But um, like I said, I, I will do my best to try and get something else up. Not sure if we're going get, to get the GoPro thing going, but I will give it my best. And um, hopefully I'll learn how to, I don't know, edit and get a new laptop this year. Those are my two goals. You know, they're up towards the top of the list as far as goals go this year. So thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for those of you who messaged me and asked me if I was okay. I'm fine. Just very, very busy. Uh, so I will hopefully, fingers crossed, talk to you guys soon. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.